come to the Homer Spit on Kachemak Bay in Alaska to talk about man and nature. Actually, to talk about one woman and her effort to help nature. Every winter, Jean Keene puts out food for the hundreds of birds in her backyard. Her birds just happen to be bald eagles. The story of Jean Keene, the eagle lady of Homer, Alaska, later this Sunday morning. We will take you on a tour this morning of a turkey should be the national bird of the United States of America. It's a little hard to understand how so wise a man as Franklin could have had that idea, but then it may be that he never actually saw any eagles on the wing sitting there in Philadelphia thinking and tinkering and setting type. Certainly he never traveled as far north as Jerry Bowen is about to take us to meet a champion of the eagle or to see such sights as we are about to see. Spring has made another breathtaking arrival in Kachemak Bay, Alaska. And that means it's nearly time for all the squawking and screeching and flapping to end in Gene Keene's backyard. I think we should give our wildlife a helping hand. And I just do it over the, the rough times of the winter. Gene King's backyard is a vacant campground on the Homer Spit, a five mile long finger of land that's home to fishing fleets and the summer tourist trade. And for the last 15 winters, home to the eagles, all kinds, young brown feathered birds, Old wizened ones having bad hair days. Ill-mannered diners screeching with their beaks full. And Jean Keen is the eagle lady. I don't like seafood go to waste. I just threw some scraps out. And then pretty soon it led to a, maybe a bucket of fish and, and two buckets of fish. And <laughs> so over the period of years, it, I feed about, uh, oh, I'd say a good 600 pounds a day now. An act of charity that's become a January to April tradition. A sunrise ritual that rarely varies. 300 hungry eagles wait atop every conceivable roost. Tourists wait too, in cars and trucks with cameras ready under the sharp eyes of Gene Keene. Ma'am, please stay in your vehicle. I've got everybody out and he shouldn't be down there either. And finally, the morning feast arrives. Fish remain stored up over the summer at the packing plant where Gene works as a supervisor. Donations from friends, too. So I've had like roadkill moose, and somebody brought out a part of a cow the other day, and they get quite a variety. To her way of thinking, Gene Keene is squaring accounts with nature. Man takes from the sea. She gives something back, peace by peace, to the eagles. Do you have names for the birds? Oh, uh, only the crippled ones. The one with the uh, bump in his nose there called Spike. He usually gets the share, I see to it. She has a soft heart, but she's tougher than the Alaska winter, living in a cramped, unheated trailer amidst the bric-a-brac of the north, snowshoes to dog sleds. In a previous life, she was known as Jean Hodgden, the daredevil rider of the rodeo circuit. That was 40 years ago. She still walks with a limp from the last ride that broke her left leg in 15 places. Why all the driftwood up here? Well, the eagles like to sit up off the ground, and uh, then people that come out to take pictures like to... It makes a better picture for them sitting on the driftwood. It makes it more picturesque. There's nowhere else that I know of, and I've lived in Alaska almost 30 years, where you can get this close to the birds without affecting it. At the fish packing plant, her colleagues see her as a woman on a mission. Jean's boss, Charlie Roberts. Jean's a tough old bird, you know, to, to say the least. And uh, she's in love with these birds. She's absolutely in love. That's where her heart is. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you've given us. In town, at Seekin's Bed and Breakfast. This is Moose Meat. 
the Sunday dinner table wouldn't be quite so full. Being that close to those majestic workshops is incredible. And Bert Seekin says winter wouldn't be quite the same without the Eagle Lady. The Eagles are just a great attraction for Homer. I think that everybody that comes to Homer goes out to see the Eagles. Appreciate what I'm doing, and, uh, and uh, some people don't. I don't know, I might not be 100% right, but who knows? Nobody knows, really. And uh, so that I think we better start taking better care of our nature, though. Up here in Alaska, we're not going to have it. No one said it was easy being the Eagle Lady, and Jean Keene isn't so sure she wants to continue. When the last of the birds leave, she just may close the kitchen for good. So it's kind of headed in that direction, the way things are going. The supply of fish is dwindling down, and, and then I may retire from the place over there. I'm 70 years old now, so... <laughs> 70 years old? Yeah, so I think that uh, they'd like to, you know, <laughs> say it's time to hang it up, kid. Not quite yet. There are still some eagles to feed, and tourists to take on. Yeah, ma'am, don't ever walk down into their feeding area. You're just gonna scare them off when you do. And a whole summer and fall ahead to think about what to do when winter comes back to Kachamak Bay.